Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Hope that you are doing well. Today I want to show two topics. Uh, the first one is how you can change uh, the parameter of um, luminaire which you have selected for your lighting calculation. For example, you can see this one on, on my screen. So we try to change the luminous flux and as well the, the power consumption of this luminaire. So the first thing is you need to click on the change setup. If you did not, you don't see anything is because you have to click on the luminaire that you have it uh, selected for the specific space and then you are able to edit the fields where you have the luminous flux, the power, uh, lamp type, then also the color, um, colorated temperature, CRI, or you can sp play also with uh, the spectrum or colorimetric data of that um, luminaire, uh, or more exactly the, the light source, which is uh, equipping the, the luminaire itself. And then you just need to click on the apply button and then all the changes which you have made for the specific luminaire will be implemented. And then you can run smoothly the, the lighting calculation. But let's do a quick demonstration. For example, instead of 3600, I will place 4000, the lumen output. And then I just change it here and then you just need to click up and down. I will just click apply. And if I go back to the luminaire in the previous view, we can we can uh, we can see if our changes have been made. You see it here, the luminaire have been changed, and of course. Uh, it will influence also the, the lighting calculation. So in this case, you have a higher, um, having a higher lumen output, you have a higher um, uh, lux level that you, you need. For example, in this case, we have 561 uh, for the working plan. So it's above the 500, which actually we need for this uh, single office. Uh, and then going back to the luminaire, I will select once again. I will go here 3000, so below ah, 3000, below the value. Unfortunately, I did not choose the change button, so I have to go here once again, change, and then I can go, let's say 3000, just to solve the difference. I click on apply, of course the results will be invalid, and then I will just run um, another calculation, just to have a better overview what's happening. In this case, so that's very easy for you if you like the, the light distribution curve or the luminaire, but you don't have enough lumen output, then maybe you can see if you can change it uh, from the driver point of view or use a higher lumen package if that luminaire is available without changing the complete luminaire. It's just much easier to, to, to try to find the right uh, lumen output, which it will be required to reach the lux level. So you see it here, if it's 3000, we are below the 500 lux level, which is requested for an office application or office space. So yes, that's that's the first thing which I want to, to highlight. And for the same space, I want to, to run now a quick energy demand. So for this, you need to click on the following um, pictogram where it's it's mentioned energy demand and then you have already pre-established a lot of parameters like the basic value settings configurations like start time end time for that uh, specific application and then the, of course the location um, daylight control sensor measuring points need to be included we have two windows as you can see it in uh, on this side and of course here the annual overview and daily and hourly overview will be available only after 
I insert the insert the sensor measuring point. So I will just click on it, and sensor will be added to my drawing. Oh, and you see also sensor measuring point. It's click with green, and then then I control as well. So everything on the checklist is okay. Um, I will just minimize this one because I just want to show you where is the sensor. So the sensor is placed here in the in the room. I'll just click on that you can see it. So this is the sensor. I can click once again on it. Yeah, fortunately, difficult to catch it. <laughs> um, yeah, let's close this window just to be more visible. And here's the sensor. Yeah, finally I could could reach it. So it's the height of the sensor should be 0.8. Let's uh, find out. Here is the height. If you want to change it, we can let it in the middle of the room, or you can place it upon one table. If we go on 2D, then we can let's change it here. For one example, above the table, working table, and then. A very nice feature when you want to have the energy demand for that specific application of space how you want to call it you have to click on this nice leaf and then you have automatically calculated the energy estimation for that specific space and now that we have click on it it will take a couple of seconds to do all the calculation uh, related to energy saving you see it's we have uh, for a 12 month period and then we have um, on the right part of the screen, we have the energy demand, 390, the light energy numeric indicator, the costs, uh, and the CO2 emissions per, per year, control and savings, everything available. Let's see if I can still have that pop up window which i close it exactly this one i want to show you because it's much much nicer um we have also the sun here very nice um presented in this drawing and we have also the presets that we can do if something like that exists or not and that for time being i will just close it Let's see if I can just close from here. Or yeah, it will close automatically if you click on the on the background. So here on the first table we have the annual overview, and here we can see the energy, the cost, the CO two, and the energy demand. Of course, during the month um, where you have let's say summer period, we have less consumption because here we have also the start time at seven. We see in the daily and hourly overview from seven hour seven o'clock until 18 o'clock and then we have also energy demand and illumines and load and which reference also to the lux level artificial light daylight and uh, power current the savings and yeah if the shading we have yes and no this is the pan so all this data have been taken from this Table based on, on this scenario, of course, you can change based on your location to get more accurate. Uh, but I like this new feature in the Dialogs 12.1, so I guess it, you'll use it as well when you want to do a nice presentation of project. It's also very important to tell to the owner or to our customer how much um, the lighting um, consumption is for that building or for that application and you can easily do this energy demand and I found very nice these graphics and yeah and here for example also use the currently selected data and timing documentation so that's really really powerful and very nice to have this feature in the in the new Dialux uh, version 12.1 yeah, so that's that's all that I want to show today. If you have any questions, please um, write to me in the comment section. 
Um, if you don't follow yet my YouTube channel, please do so. It will help me a lot. And give a like to this video. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take care of you. Bye-bye.